Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with another movie reaction. This one, Eileen with Anne Hathaway and Thomason McKenzie. Is that how you say it? Thomason? I know it's the girl from Jojo Rabbit. I didn't know anything about this movie. I still don't know anything about this movie. I just recognized her. That's the girl from Jojo Rabbit and obviously Anne Hathaway. Why is there two of her? I don't know. Is it like a split personality? Is it in the mind of this girl? The way the imagery is set up, I almost feel like it's possible she's not a real person. But the reason I'm brainstorming on what this could be is because I've never seen the trailer. I know very little about it. Multiple people when mentioning it, we're like, I either saw a trailer and it looks nuts or I've seen it and it's great. It just dropped, but I honestly know nothing. So let's just jump in. You want to see more of what I do in the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see stuff like this in full unedited hundreds of movies and shows over there already. The new Justified Fiona and Cake Chucky season three. We just finished Rick and Morty season seven. We are going to start True Detective season four in a week. That'll be the new show. And we're doing Percy Jackson and the Olympians, which is going on right now. All in the description is the link for Patreon. You'll see full unedited everything. If not, Eileen. I like Neon. Neon makes crazy stuff. Eileen. So there's a car smoking. And then it looks like we're in the same car. Not for nothing. Wouldn't the people know she's there? She's sitting in a parked car, like right near them. <laughs> This has got to be 50s or 60s, and that car is running like crap. Dad? Oh. So she what doesn't I, have the greatest what home I life. Like to say. Looks like she lives in an attic. And I can't hide. Eileen! Alright, that's Eileen. I need four of my 37. The bus driver She's from useless. Forrest Gump. Dr. Fry still needs And that other guy is somebody, he's too. He's like office. a doctor from something. Oh, yeah. What was the, her name, the bus driver's name in Forrest Gump? Is she just like a very sexual person? And I'm thinking this is in her mind. This isn't happening. Yeah, this isn't happening. But she was thinking it. I dig her, though. In Jojo Rabbit, she was great. I see a lot of in these days. Dad is pounding hey, bottles a day. Oh, although I'm gonna have a drink. You right there, Chief? You can fuck right off. Goddamn Lutheran's is next door, the prop. Hey. Holy Eileen, shit, go inside. It's okay, Dad. Boardwalk Empire, dude, I didn't even realize it. Hey, what's in the scene? You can't go around policing people, Dad. Who's this? You know who that guy was? You're not a cop anymore. Yeah, sure. I didn't want to retire. They made me because I was too goddamn good at it. He's a drunken asshole, waving guns around in the street, and they're like, yeah, don't worry about it. Just get oh, him inside. On. No one else is going to put up with your shit. Yeah, Go Jesus. On. I got Joni. And she doesn't live here. And she's married. She's here buying him booze and taking care of his freaking ass. And he goes, why don't you get a life? And now she busts her ass. Why do we have 50 pairs of shoes? She keeps looking at this this person. I don't know what the deal is. She keeps looking at that person. She's all about it. That was a very beautiful car. Uh. And on that note, this new young lady to my left, Dr. Miss Rebecca St. John. It is my honor to thank the people from Mount Olive who helped me direct the pageant again this year. Mount Olive. I live very close to, I mean, there could be more than one Mount Olive. This might be Mount Olive, New Jersey. Wait, 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 wait. This place has no control. I hate hey, people like that. Hey, huh? You're in a good mood. What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong there. You're in a good mood. What's wrong with you? December 16th, 1944. First time I ever held a dead man's head in my lap. Oh, the kid who stabbed his father. Is that the kid? The kid she keeps watching? Car. Stabbed his father. Well, never says a word the whole trial. I don't think this dude realizes how close he probably is to being killed himself by somebody. Of course, I wouldn't have to worry about you doing something like that, now would I? Because you're a girl. I don't know how you're still alive. I, like, at that age, sometimes the rottenest bastards. I think she's literally feeding him alcohol and cigarettes, hoping he kills himself. In bed, stabbed his father to death. And she has all the pictures. You might see me sometime, all right? Although, you know, if you hear me screaming in there, feel free to kick down the door and rescue me. Anne Polk, 
That's the girl from Justified, the new Justified Prime Evil. Aren't you Chief Dunlop's kid? I think she sympathizes with him. He's over here smiling and giving her eyes and not... Filthy, nasty boy! My God, he must have issues. I think Anne Hathaway's taking the approach like, don't worry. Can I take you to a drink tonight? I don't know anyone in this darn town and I'd love to take you to a cocktail at the game. Who makes the best martini in town? Maybe O'Hara's? O'Hara's. It's actually the only band town. He can't take no for an answer. He's drunk. She's gonna belt him. There you go. You have a strange face. It's like plain, but fascinating. Are you gonna get a kiss? I feel like a kiss is coming. I freaking knew it. Now she's gonna go in for another. Maybe, maybe double. No. Nah. I can't believe her Thunderbird got out of that snow that easy. Good for you, Thunderbird. Oh. <laughs> she fell asleep in her car, puking her guts out. She crashed into the freaking house. Dad found the car. Out all night? Nearly crashed the car? Nearly Sleeping crashed the car. Seat. Please, I'll be late! You're not going anywhere dressed like that. We but gotta that. take his gun. Chief Dunlop was sitting in that not facing window, pointing his weapon at children walking home from school. Oh my god. He has agreed to relinquish the property into your care. I think as soon as the cop leaves. <laughs> Jesus, that didn't happen, but my god. I had kind of trouble. Yeah, I believe the trouble part. It's almost Christmas. Can you give me a break? No. Love will make you crazy, Eileen. You'll probably never understand that. Some people, they're the real people. And other people are bums. They're just there. Fill in the space. That's you, Eileen. What a piece of shit. You're one of them. Piece of shit. Oh my god, another one. Jesus. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, it took me so long. I think that cat's possessed. What the frick Merry was that? Oh, I can't believe they even. Aren't you a page? Something's up. She invites you over. She's acting weird. I hangs up the phone. I like my own space. I still like to have fun, and uh, I can make a lot of noise. <laughs> I feel like she's about to have a mental breakdown or something. What was on the phone? Why was she hanging up? Why is she alone on Christmas Eve? Her dishes are overflowing. She's got rotten. Pickles last a long time. If the pickles are bad. I live a little differently than most people. Oh, your house is nice and it's cozy. I want Anne Hathaway to eat a pickle. What would make a person? Kill his father. Kill their father. Everybody wants to kill their father. Hacked through his father's throat with an old kitchen knife. And stabbed him in the chest repeatedly. Is she thinking That's the mother's involved? And you were there. The poor boy could barely look at her. So, so afterwards, I just asked him. I think he, my guess is the I dad. Mean, you can never tell anyone. Do you understand? This is the Polk house. I have Mrs. Polk tied up downstairs. No fucking way! Are you shitting me? That was not the twist. I thought. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Are they gonna try to kill Miss Polk? I do. I'm sorry. I couldn't stop thinking about what Lee had told me. What his father had done and how his mother had let it happen. This is what yeah, happens when you go too. off procedure. Let me, but I need Mrs. Polk to confess. And I need a witness, two against one. We definitely got our third act twist. Mrs. Polk is looking at her like you're fucking crazy lady. I am going to fucking kill you if you don't start talking right now. When you get married, and you have children. I knew what I was doing. It wasn't, it wasn't quite right. I didn't know that. I did. I mean, you do the best you can. Your husband never looks at you the same. But after he went to bed with Lee, he'd come to me. He loved me then. This is so fucked up. You whisper and kiss me. You're young. You haven't had your half broken. You won't understand. No, fuck that. Yeah, please. Thank you. I don't Can feel bad at all. <laughs> They're going to make her take the pills and then make it look like a suicide or something. My dad always opened his gun up. Everyone knows it. She's going to frame her own father. Is Rebecca okay with that? She's crazy enough okay. to probably be like... Awesome. I can't leave any evidence behind. I'll be waiting. I'll be quick. What if she frames Eileen? I almost half think Rebecca is up to something. 
Are you watching dad? Dad is probably going to wake up and create a problem. I think Rebecca framed her. I think Rebecca isn't who she said she was. This was all preconceived. And she's just walking around in a fur coat with a gun. I don't know if she's just looking for a spot to bury her. Dad woke up. It was all in her head. I might just get on the road. All right, then. Thanks, Dad. Have a good night. I'm going to hit the road. Uh, I think she's going to do what she was just dreaming. She just left the car there. Just leaves the car. And Rebecca just split. Where did Rebecca go? I mean, she's thrilled. She looks happy. She's on the road. I kind of want to know what happened to Rebecca. All right, everybody, that is it for Eileen. What a crazy twist to happen at the end. The whole movie, I'm thinking, where is this going? Anne Hathaway, a.k.a. Rebecca, is coming off like a lunatic. The whole movie. I'm thinking we can't trust her. She's probably lying about her schooling and everything else, and I still feel like that could be the case, because why did she vanish? They made a deal. Let's leave. Let's get out of here. We'll take care of the body. We'll blame my father. How horrible and dark. But I mean, her father is a piece of shit. He is running around the streets, aiming guns at people, drunk 24-7, getting into accidents, bashing his head, going to the hospital. The doctor says he can't quit drinking or it'll kill him. But you can't let him keep drinking because it'll kill him. You got to find this fine line between not completely inebriated and not completely sober and keep him there. Because we know he's not capable of going sober the right way. Because the way you got to do it is you got to wean off. You got to have like a shot or a beer every two or three days. And then eventually you wean off more and more and more. If you go cold turkey, I said it during the show, you will do more damage if you go cold turkey than if you just kept drinking, at least within moderation. So... The doctor was kind of right. This is back in the 50s, I'm guessing. I don't know if they gave us an exact year. I don't recall it, but they were talking about how in the 40s he had to hold a man's head and it was the first time he ever killed a man and I'm assuming it was because of the war. So since then, her mother has died. Her sister got married and left. She's taking care of her scumbag father who was the chief of police. And then the cop comes and goes, now neighbors are saying they're seeing him pointing the gun at children walking home from school. And their solution is, let's take the gun and give it to his daughter who lives with him. That was crazy in itself. But besides all that, the whole ending is the whole big important part, I guess. They set everything up. She has a miserable life. She works at this juvenile center for boys. And one of the guys there, Poke, killed his father, who also was a cop. So she's relating to this dude a lot. Like, we both have shitty lives or at least it appears so we both had fathers that sucked who were cops or so we are led to believe but we really don't know what's going on we see Pokes mom come I should have known right away that Pokes mom was going to become more important because she is the top agent cop detective person in the new Justified show with Timothy Oliphant I kind of just was like so intrigued by the Anne Hathaway Rebecca and Eileen story that I'm thinking that had nothing to do with it. I mean, I knew it had something to do with it, but I thought it was just like an underlying plot. We end up finding out that Rebecca went to Ms. Pogue's house to talk to her, finds out her son, or not finds out, Rebecca already knew because Polk, the kid, confessed and told her everything. And then I'm thinking, what if the kid made all this up? We don't have any confirmation of any of this. The kid could be a problem child and maybe all this was lies and he just murdered his father. And the mom ran out in the beginning and was like, I can't even talk to him. He's a horrible bastard. How mean and horrible a mother do you have to be to tell your son you're a mean, horrible bastard when we find out at the end that his dad was going into his room and raping him every night. And then the mom knew about it. She didn't know right away, but she figured it out and then goes, is it wrong of me to have been happy? Because when he would rape my son, he would come back in the room and he'd treat me like, like great. And it was nice. I had my husband back and she has the audacity to ask Rebecca and Eileen, if that is normal, like, do you blame me? Like, what? I don't blame Eileen for shooting her. 
and she didn't even shoot to kill. She shot her in the arm, and then we shoved pills down her throat, and then we asphyxiated her with carbon monoxide in the car. So we killed her a bunch of different ways. We made sure, damn sure, that this lady is going to die. But then Rebecca, who started it all and put Eileen in that position, just goes, yeah, let me go inside and tidy up, and dips and vanishes and disappears. And Eileen decides, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't frame my father and have everyone believe he murdered this lady. And honestly, it probably would have worked because he probably wouldn't even have remembered what really happened. He's so drunk all the time and not for nothing. The guy's on his deathbed because he's just going to drink himself into oblivion. And the fact that she just left and went hitchhiking out of town, he's got no one to take care of him now. So it's only a matter of time before he dies. They're going to find the car. They'll probably know shenanigans went on. But we never really find out about Rebecca's deal. She was just this good-looking, smart, so-called Harvard graduate that was a lunatic and broke procedure, and breaking procedure went down the line. I was saying during the movie, is procedure breaking what got her to that point, or is she somebody that has done things like this and did it intentionally to get out of it by framing Eileen? I don't know. I want to talk to you guys. I'm going to go edit this up. Fantastic movie. Great twist at the end. You guys let me know what you would think. You want to see more of what I do in the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see things like this in full unedited. Hundreds of other movies and shows. Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, The New Justified Primeval in full starring Poke's mother, True Detective Season 4 with Jodie Foster in the description, full unedited everything. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!